Hey guys, this is Comic Uno. Today I'm doing a review for Superior Spider-Man issue 9. But before I start talking about this issue, I actually have a couple updates to give you. First update is um talk about my partnership with Full Screen. I've been partnered with Full Screen for about two months a month now. Um, it's a great partnership. You could do guerrilla campaigns and help out other YouTubers to um, be able to get m more views and get your viewers to check out their channel and uh, you get money for it. So if you if you do have a YouTube channel and you do want to make money, um, full screen is a great partnership um, to be with. So go check out full screen. Um, there will be a link um, annotated for full screen if you want to check out more about it and see how you can join that partnership. Um, also another um, update I have is I have two reviews on Dr. Van Drink that I usually do on Comic Uno, which is actually Comics Issue 20 and Earth 2 Issue 12. So if you want to go check out those reviews, just go on the description below. And also, last update guys, um, I usually don't talk about this on uh, my videos. And I recognize that just like me this weekend. I was like, why don't I... I don't think you guys know about this. Um, I have a live show. We all have a live show for Dark Event Drink on um, Tuesdays at 9 um, Eastern Time. Usually it's on Chris's channel, Dark Avenger CA6's channel. And we have a fun time. We talk about comics, movies, television, and have good laughs. And you guys could comment on the side. We'll answer your comments, questions, and stuff. So uh, definitely go check it out. Um, either join us next Tuesday, well, this coming Tuesday, or check out the past live show and all the other past live shows. We've had a lot. Um, on the last live show, it was actually on Dark Event Drink though because we couldn't do it on Chris's channel last week um, because he was sick. So, but you guys should go check out that last Dark Avenger Inc. Um, live show. Tell me in the comments below if you knew about the live show. I'm definitely curious. And, um, yeah, tell us what you want with the live show. You know, what you, what you would like to see. Uh, yeah, tell me in the comments below about that. But let's talk about Superior Spider-Man. Uh, this is going to be the issue that you might be really upset about or really like. Um, I don't have a lot of spoilers in this, uh, in this review. So if you haven't read the issue, don't want spoilers. I wouldn't watch this review just yet. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna spoil this issue because there's definitely a lot to talk about that, um, I need to express. I actually wrote a written review just to express all my feelings about this. Uh, you go check that out also on Entertainment Views. There, the link is on the side of my, uh, YouTube page. So if you go check that out. Um, but let's talk about Superior Spider-Man's cover. Um, I love this cover, honestly. I like that uh, Dr. Octopus is kind of like a cartoony thing on the top, and then Peter's on in the brain. It looks like a brain is spelled out with Superior Spider-Man. So this is a weird Spider-Man cover. I have not seen a cover like this for, honestly, any comic. But um, I thought it was really cool. And um, Except, actually, uh, X-Men Legacy is our cover kind of like this. But um, I thought it was really creative. Really liked the cover, and really liked the art. Uh, Stegman is back, which he's a really great artist for um, Spider-Man, because it, it has that artistic style, but not that sketchy, or in, uh, I guess, a little messy art artistic style. It's more cleaner, and I do like that about Stegman's art, and we get to see that over here, too, and on the cover. I think he does the cover art. Um, let's talk about this issue, though. So, Dr. Octopus finds out that Peter Parker is in his brain, so Dr. Octopus has used one of his, um, experiments to go into his brain and defeat Peter Parker. At first we're like, oh my god, Peter Parker's gonna win, he's gonna get it back. No, he actually destroys all Peter's memories and Peter's memories are gone and uh, Peter is gone because Dr. Octopus uh, says some things to Peter like, hey, you're bad, you're just like me because you try to get that helmet with, because I want to save a girl, but you try to get that helmet away from me that we didn't know about me. You're selfish. So Peter's like, no, no, I, I'm not selfish. So he keeps attacking Peter saying, you're nothing. Puts him on the ground and destroys him. He's gone. And Dr. Octopus says, and I, I am free. All right. Usually I'm optimistic about these things, right? Um, and you see my Spider-Man reviews, right, guys? Um, Maze of Spider-Man 698 comes. I find out Doc Dr. Octopus is the new Spider-Man. I'm like, all right, all right. We could, I mean, maybe he'll be a cool Spider-Man. Um, maybe we'll see him grow. All right. Issue 700 comes. Peter's dead. I'm like, oh, okay. This is a little scary, but... I'm excited. Let's see where it goes. Superior Spider-Man issue 1 comes. Alright, he's a little cocky, ruining Peter's life. Okay, that's fine. Issue 9 comes. Issue, yeah, issue 9 comes. I'm upset. <laughs> Honestly, um, uh, there's not a lot of times where you can be optimistic about one of your favorite characters. And, honestly, um, I respect Dan Slott as a writer. I do, and I don't think people should attack him for this. Don't. Don't attack him, please. <laughs> don't attack him if you don't like this issue. Don't like it, drop the issue, forget about it. And then wait until Peter comes if, you know, Dan Slott stops writing the series and maybe another writer will come in the future where Peter Parker will be back. Yeah, don't attack him. But, I didn't like how what he did with this. Um, I do feel that, um, he kind of rubbed, rubbed it in our face that 
Peter is gone. And I think it was just showing, I think in his motives, like, showing how much we love this character and showing how much, how much abuse you get out with this character and how much we love this character and see, kind of having our heart put on the floor and stomped on when this happens to Peter and we're showing how much we like Peter. But it was heart-wrenching to see this. And, um, physically you see 50 years of Peter's life destroyed. And, um, we get to see, like, all the things we love about the Spider-Man world, you know, J. Jonah Jameson, Mary Jane, Gwen Stacy, Captain Stacy, you know, Uncle Ben, and all those things that we read and physically get destroyed. And that's what really was heart-wrenching. And, um, usually when, um, you know, like, the New 52 app is you don't like something, or even Marvel Now, or you Superior Spider-Man, you're like, oh, yeah, I have the past comics, like, always read those, so don't worry. But really, they physically showed, hey, those are the past comics, but, yeah, it's gone, it's gone. It's, like, totally gone. We're showing you it disappeared. It doesn't exist. And when Peter called himself Peter Palmer, I'm like, what? You know, that's, like, heart-wrenching uh, to see that. And uh, I was very, very disappointed with that. And I think the worst part is, like, Peter literally going on his knees, literally going on his knees, destroyed, and Dr. Octopus saying, I'm superior, I'm better than you, and I'm going to ruin your life. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be that cocky person. That's why I was kind of annoyed with Superior Spider-Man, because he was that cocky person ruining Peter's life. Now Peter doesn't even have a chance to come back. I'm sure he will come back somehow. But he's gone now. He's, he's gone. He's, he's dead. He's dead. And, then that's, and that's the thing. This is his last appearance, and he's defeated by Dr. Octopus on his knees, forgetting who he is, and then his past is erased. That is a horrible send-off. It's even worse than the send-off they had in issue 700. I mean, like, if you're gonna have a send-off, at least make it good and make Dr. Octopus, like, some motive still be Dr. Octopus, but be a cool Spider-Man, a good Spider-Man. And we don't see that, you know? And I was really, really disappointed with that. I'm also a fan of Parker, you know, Phantom Peter was a waste, and I didn't even like Phantom Peter at all. Um, I, I mean, like, when I read Phantom Peter, I'm like, oh, now there's hope for Peter to come back. There's a glimmer of hope. And, but he, his commentaries were really annoying and kind of lost interest with Peter's commentaries. I'm like, if you want to have Phantom Peter, then just bring Peter back or have him in another body or something. But not have Phantom Peter, and then that Phantom Peter doesn't even matter. That whole story didn't matter. Why do we have to have this story? Why could he just been dead in issue 700? Why did the Ancelot have to shove in our face that, really, literally, he sh you know, we're down, we're down, we're on our knees, we're down. He shoves mud in our face when we are down. Mud all over our face, right with this issue. They really could have just killed Peter off in issue 700 and forgotten about this whole story in general. They gave us hope and just kicked that hope out the window. And that's why I didn't like this issue. You know, I've been optimistic about it. Really optimistic about Superior Spider-Man. Will I drop Superior Spider-Man? Probably not because I love the Spider-Man world too much to drop it and I like the supporting characters too much. But am I really disappointed? Yes, I am. Um, and there was way too many emotions with this. I mean, that's what Dan Slott wanted, but we're not getting Peter back, so why do... <sighs> this is very aggravating. <laughs> and, uh, I feel like there's no future for Peter um, once Dan Slott is writing it. But again, I mean, I still respect him as a writer. I do like him as a writer, but I'm really disappointed with this story. I see that he wants to do something really incredible and something different, and I respect that. But uh, it doesn't mean I can't be upset about it, you know? And I think that's where people should, you know, have their emotions. Um, respect what Dan Slott does because I respect that he's doing something different. You know, a lot of comics just do the same thing over and over again. I respect this is something different. I mean, do I have to like the direction of something different? No, I don't. And I think that's what we should be respected as. Like, I'm not going... I'm just complaining and I have a lot of emotions about it, but doesn't mean I respect... I don't respect what he did. It's just I don't like it. And that's why I'm going to give this a low grade. But it doesn't mean the storytelling wasn't good. Um, actually, it was really good storytelling. The pacing is really good. The art's really good. Um, it's just the event that happened, I did not like. And again, a lot of story, I felt that we've been reading for nine issues of Superior Spider-Man weren't worth it. Everything that we read with Peter and how Carly knowing that Peter is still alive, what does that matter? And I feel like a lot of those subplots that we cared about really don't matter anymore. And that's why I'm really disappointed. I don't know where this series is going with that. Um, so yeah, I was really disappointed with this. A lot of emotions. Um, I, again, I'm usually very optimistic with these things, but now this was, again, a kind of kick in your face. Hey, Peter fans, you're down. What in your face? 
I think that's just the best way to put it. But um, yeah, tell me your thoughts in the comments below. I think people will. Some people might like this a lot, but some people might be really disappointed. But I'm just going to say, please, a lot of people are attacking Dan Slott for this. Don't attack him. Yes, it's his writing, but respect his writing, you know? And if you don't like it, just don't read it anymore. You know, I know it's your favorite character, but there are those past stories so that you could read. So, uh, you know, don't attack him. Just You could express your feelings that you don't like it, but um, yeah, but that's what I wanted to say. Um, I didn't like the issue, but it doesn't mean I'm going to attack Dan Slaffer, you know, I still respect him as a writer. I respect what he's doing with this character because he does want to make something different. You just don't have to agree with him. So yeah, I'm going to give this a one and a half. I really didn't enjoy it though. But the pacing was really good. You really make it a uh, page turn. You really want Peter to come back, but honestly he didn't in the end. But tell me in the comments below what you thought. <sighs> a lot of emotions, guys. A lot, a lot of emotions. Um, a lot of feelings. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it one and a half. Honestly, if you don't want to be crushed, <laughs> if you're a big Peter fan, I honestly wouldn't read it. If you just heard what I said, you don't have to read it. I, I was very crushed when I read it. I mean, is it, like, is it a page turner? Yes, it is. A very well-written page turner. But story-wise, I didn't like what happened, so I'm gonna give it one and a half. If I had to do, like, just pacing-wise and, and didn't have any emotions with Peter, I probably would give this, like, a a four and a half, really, honestly. If I had no feelings, no emotions, four and a half. But I have emotions, I have feelings about the story, and I have to I have to review this as a story too. I have to review what I like. So I'm gonna give this a one and a half. So just saying. Uh, so I say don't pick it up, guys. Um tell me your thoughts. I think there's gonna be a lot of thoughts about this. So uh this is Comic Uno. Hope you guys enjoyed. You guys don't forget to follow me on Twitter for co uh, Comic Uno and the rant situations, and I'll see you guys later. Bye guys.